All right, we are back with game three of UTSA versus UTEP. Right. UTSA leads the series two to nothing. If UTEP wants to take this final home, they will have to reverse sweep. And they are starting their effort by banning Caitlyn, which has been feathers. integral to UTSA's victories in both of the previous games. I follow that up with the Trundle, which was important in game one, and I have to believe that their third ban will be Aurelia, or else they will need to first pick it themselves if they do not want Tarsier to have it. Fear. I think it's a very important um, pick. Tyrant. And they do ban it, thankfully. There, there we go. There we go. They got the message, now the reverse sweep can commence. Alright. Keep five game series. <laughs> five game series. Yep, I, I I don't think that's gonna happen. I, I don't think the Aurelia is the whole problem with uh, the, these teams, but I think it's I think it'll help. I hope it'll help for the attempt's sake. Goes my hero. Oh, the Swain first picked for UTEP. You think that's mid or top? I wouldn't be surprised if it was top because they've been first picking top in the other games. And it seems like the type of champion that Slant Lord would be playing. However, it, it, it is flexible, and Tarsier actually opts to pick Ooh. Gangplank. So that he can show Slant Lord up on his own champion, perhaps. Ban me out, will you? I'll show you. Brom, also the sport getting picked up. Over there on the side for UTSA. Um, Brom jungle? Oh, wait, I did that to a class game. Shavana! Definitely did not expect to see that coming out, but Magnus may be going to straight comfort picks at this point. Not a not gank until level six, or not gank until you have a million and a half items. I mean, you can gank at level three with Shimana. It's just not guaranteed to do anything. Um. Okay, so I think that's Jarvan top. Yeah. Um. So Swain mid. Yeah, so UTEP opted to pick their entire top half uh, first. Generally in drafts you want to uh, match what your opponent is picking. They say, to hell with that. We don't need a support. We're, we're happy if they ban out supports and AD carries. We don't care. Hindsight is 2020 after all. I am. TSA is probably going to keep throwing bands at the 80 carry like they had in second phase for the last two games. Galio getting taken away. No, yeah, nope. that was the one champion I'm going to let you carry has showed good things on. He actually looked pretty uh, unconvincing on the Fizz last game. Mm hmm. Probably ran about that phase with oh, the Kaisa. Yeah, I didn't want to see Hank's Kaisa anyway. Why not? Oh, because it's probably disgusting. Hank is super good. Oh, oh yeah, so. Now, he's been hovering Kale every game. Maybe we'll finally see it. Do it, do it, do, do it. it. Do it, do it. In. Lock it, oh. Lock it in, lock it in, Lucy in, Lucy in. It's basically the same chant. Like, we're good. So, uh, yeah, unorthodox picks from both teams coming out. I think probably UTEP just going to comfort picks, whereas UTSA is just saying, okay, we, we got this. Like, just play whatever you want. We got this. If I'm not mistaken, Lucian is... Near the bottom of all AD carries right now, isn't he? As far as win rate and statistics. Hmm. Which 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 champion is that? Lucian. Lucian. I believe uh, he might be dead last. 
I don't know, Gragas is really low too. Uh, I mean for 80 carries. Oh, okay. Let me go low. Chat, help us. I'm looking, I'm looking. And they will round out that comp with the Oriana that uh, Thor showed some good stuff on last game. <clears throat> Let's see, Lucian. Currently, well, I don't know. Maybe it'll all play. No, you've got to make sure it's only looking at high elo, aka silver one or above. Kappa. <laughs> Like, if it's silver one and above, then I'm afraid that I'm far too close to high low than I'd like to admit. Not gonna lie. Okay, so it looks like UTSA might have a little bit of the same problem they have in game one. Where I don't think this Jarvan's gonna build very tanky. I don't expect the Shivana to either. And the Swain is like half a tank, so. Hmm. Callista's win rate is abysmal. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Callista is like 44%. Um, at least on this website that I'm looking at. So Callista's at 44. Lucian's pretty close to 50. Like, he's at 48 percent so i guess that's that's, not... that's still pretty bad i mean like well i don't know because varus has a lower win rate like i guess it doesn't mean that the champion's bad but no but i mean help hank uh based on the skill differential between hank and reclaimer i think probably lucian will be okay but definitely not a pick that you can use in every situation these days with the Braum, probably pretty powerful. But... Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Um, still exhausted that there are no exhausts on either side of the board. <sighs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure enough. No exhausts. You know, I I don't want to exhaust in Joe anyway. Like, why no, would want, well, why would you want point? to do that? Why would what's you want to do point? that? Why do you care about why do you care about a Lucian dashing in just to just to get exhausted? Like not a big deal. Yeah, that's you ridiculous. Need... You definitely need that that ignite. <laughs> Cause you know the the spot lane from UTEP has just been racking up the kills every game with that ignite. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, though... Like, I, I actually think they did have gotten a few with it, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, Vodacadabra <laughs> did go mid and get a kill on Galio on the first game, at least with the Ignite. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, it wasn't completely sarcastic. They, they have done some stuff with it. You had a lot of, you had a lot of uh, sarcasm in your voice, not going to lie, not going to lie. Hey, man. So, yeah, for, for UTEP, they're, they're probably... I'm probably feeling pretty bad right now. I think this game will be a big test of their mental fortitude if they can pull out a victory here. Um, I don't expect them to, but it would be uh, actually, I think, really impressive if they were able to pull one game out here. Hey, they're gonna they're gonna pull three games out, man. Yeah, I mean, if they were to reverse sweep. I mean, if you win one, then you only have to win two more. And if you win one more of that, then you only have to win one more. Right? And then if you win that other one, you win. Yeah. Thanks, John Madden. God bless. John Madden, you were, you were, a, uh, you were a treasure to casters everywhere. <laughs> but seriously, like, if UTEP is able to pull this game out, then... And especially oh. if they're able to do it in a uh, more solid fashion than what we've seen from them in the last two games, then the pressure is back on UTSA, you know? I, I don't know. Like, it's like two of them, as chat was alluding to, they have Dragon Slayer skins. Yeah, that's true. But no Dragon Master Swain, unfortunately. 
And I believe there's a dragon theme skin for J4, I think. Could be wrong. I don't know. I don't use skins yes. when I play J4. Yeah, but why are why are J4 and Swain going to be dragon hunters? I guess dragon master is and then dragon hunter, but still. Uh, for for fun. For fun? Yeah, they're gonna chase Shivana around and help her out. Oh yeah, hey Shivana, you like how I'm wearing your cousin? <laughs> yeah. Like Well she's no. she's only a half dragon. Like still, okay. Yeah. Like aren't you happy that I'm wearing your half cousin? Like that doesn't make the sentence any better. I mean, I would rather someone wear my half cousin than my full cousin, right? Your half cousin would be definitely disappointed that you said that if they were listening to stream right now and you know it. I mean, <laughs> I hope your ha half cousin didn't have to hear those hurtful words. Wait, what does half cousin even mean? I don't like, know, man. Like, we're like, just using like, words here. Uh, that's how it seems, and I believe that's how. Unless UTEP hey. shows us something here, this cast mm -hmm. is gonna be for game three. Maybe they're children from an uncle that's been removed from your family. Oh, well, then you have to How ask why like that uncle that? was removed from the family. Did you expect that answer? Ooh, oh, we got an invade going on, though. Going for a big invade with the Braum, forcing the flash out from Thor. Instant respect. Do, uh, do make sure that you fast forward all the way. Hey, man, I'm fast forwarded all the way. Whoa, man, I'm just checking, man. All the way! All right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it. I like the energy right now. I like the energy for our game three. Very exciting. We're going As... to have our, I believe, this is the first season for the Central Esports Conference. So, UTSA is looking to become the first champion of the conference. Get a get a nifty trophy at their school. And and they say have a great yeah. Uh, for for UTEP, if they pull it out, they'll, of course, get the same thing. Uh, I have to say, I'm not gonna bet on UTEP to uh, pull out the reverse sweep, but who knows. I'm a betting man, so I'm going to. Reverse sweep, let's go. All right. I'm not betting anything. Yeah, I'm not either. Just some nice slow starts. Got that top lane J4. Yep, yeah, I uh, I think top lane J4 is actually pretty okay, even though it's fallen out of the meta the last year or so. But oh man, I'm gonna let you carry getting four real low here. Yeah, it's just that airy being in the box. Bot lane, just kind of, kind of going slow. No, no super aggression yet. As aggression. Yep. Hank and the uh, shadowy figure did get the push Ooh. there. It looks like he goes for. And there's the first play. And it looks like they might pick up Hank. Oh, Tarsier falling as well. Oh wow! So we have a. Uh, Super early lead coming out here for Utep, but yeah. Oh, oh but in the mid lane, Thor picks up the kill onto what? I'm gonna let you carry, who had just poked him down to 100 health. No what is happening this game? Uh, so far it looks like UTSA uh is just not trying or something. Um, I, I don't know, this game this game's just sort of taken off uh, a lot faster than the other two is all all sort of that I mean. Yeah, hopefully we'll get uh, one kill a minute or more. So far we're hitting that. Uh, my school is no stranger to games like that. There there are a couple of uh, matches that I did cast in the WC that did feel like they were a killer more a minute. We had one game where we had uh, more than two kills per minute, and oh, it was wow. like a 35 minute game. That was. A clown fiesta. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun, but I hope we don't see that here. I don't know. That would make for a fun finals. We'd definitely be out of breath afterwards. 
Uh, well, I mean, at some point you just have to give up, honestly. <laughs> You just say like, okay, they all died. Like the both teams got aced. That's that's it. Uh, we do see uh, Slaylord with some pretty favorable trades against Tarshir. That electric heat, he's running into the end though. He's getting some good poke. Mm -hmm. Tarshir does have Klepto though, so nothing really matters. Doesn't matter what Slaylord does, honestly. Yeah, and a call as well. It looks like. Oh wow. Yeah. So Gangplank just working on making money. He is sitting on a gold bag, sitting on some of that bounty. Looks like they're trying another play bot. Shadowy Finger gonna get his stacks. Uh, Out of Godolver, looking for the hook as Max Ma Maximum Magnus comes in. Speak, <laughs> tripping over my own words. Nah, it's okay. Nothing much happened. Yeah. You're safe. You're safe. A gank was attempted. Ooh, oh, the rune landed on Ooh, uh, This could easily be another kill. Maximum Magnus is there to follow up. Ooh, one tower shot, not two. Almost two tower shots, though. That would have been really yeah. brutal. Oh, the yep. E lands? That's all that lands, though. W's yep. not going to be up in time. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but it does force carry out of the lane for now all right so um, I'll give you the chance you, you can take your bet back you do you still think UTEP's gonna win this one uh, you think uh, they're gonna start the reverse sweep I mean I'm giving you an out here. They got a lead right now, but do you think- hey, I was gonna to say, it? like, this feels like a trap. Yeah, they've got a lead right now. I'm asking you, do you think they're gonna hold on to it? Do you, do you think they're gonna pull it out? Uh... <laughs> Alright, so you know what yeah. <laughs> Uh... Loaded question. My bad. It is a loaded question, man. Like, how am I- how are they supposed to have my, uh... Have my faith in support if I if I just kind of fall through like that immediately. Not even seven minutes into the match. The double root landing bot lane. The claimer just gonna take that nice lane trying to get away. Did I know that Xin Zhao was there? Oh yeah, he was on a ward. As Magnus showing back up, top lane to try and yeah, he sure that. will go down there. Yep. Can't can't really fight two people two v one in the uh, depth there. Yeah, but that does allow UTSA to get this uh, Earth Drake for three. For three. Yeah, absolutely. But that might turn into first brick top lane as well. Uh, looks like they do have cannon wave there. And you're right. They maybe uh. uh maybe hello, Gangplank. Yeah. So indeed, for the low low price. Of one gameplay ultimate, they secure the uh, top tower. Don't let it fall. They get the Drake. And Torsier's life, of course. They didn't pick that up. But... I mean, gameplays have been okay with dying this series. <laughs> Absolutely. And if we look uh, at the gold, this kleptomancy is keeping him. Do you have Zinzal creeping bottom? No. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Ooh. But I'm not on the Oh, this could turn back. The, the ignite comes out. Oh, he's level five. He's not even level six. Wow. Uh, Shadowy figure gets out of there with about 30 HP. Zinjao is still lurking. Oh, oh there he is. He's level six now. The level up comes through and Shadowy figure goes down. I bet he's surprised. I'm mad about that one. I'd yeah. be a little frustrated. Yeah. I'd be like, wait, I left lane and he wasn't level 6. Yeah. Really good snipe on that one. So that's actually two kills uh, for Reclaimer. Uh, he is a little behind in CS, but uh, he does have the lead. And his team in general, UTEP actually coming out with him. 2k gold lead, reminiscent of what UTSA had been doing the last two games. 
See? See, no one's gonna give up. You were trying to get me to back down. <laughs> well, uh, in my opinion, I played against both of these teams, and they are both super good teams. Right, so. Finding Mag- or, well, I guess Magnus finding Depression. Oh! Ooh. Oh, what? Nice shockwave, but Depression will go down! Yeah, the slant load showed up. Tarsier's there. Uh, and Bomb Light's in the time? Demonic Ascension, the Demon Flare, does a fair amount of damage, but will not save his life. Unlucky. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hank and Figure were able to just roam up before Tev Spot Lane could get there. Oh, the hook goes just wide of Hank, unfortunately. And uh, Reclaimer's happy to go get that giant ray, hopefully. Or try to fight. Good play. Uh, <laughs> interesting. That was a very good Brommel. And uh, Gold Lead still about the same after those tricks. Uh, I think he's gonna lose this fight. Oh, that was, that was very good. Girl, smack. Yeah, that was very good. He might have died if he hadn't been that there. He would have definitely been Daryl. Looks like he's going for the Dusk Blade or the Yomus, possibly. I don't like it. But he will do respectable damage if you can get on to, say, the Oriana or the Lucian. <laughs> it's just a matter of getting to them without getting blown up himself. Both junglers are on the top side and they have spotted each other, so probably nothing will happen. Yeah. Let's see. So, looking at items and advantages right now, or disadvantages as it were, is there anything that jumps out at you? Um, as far as as far as items or Well, let's take a look. Uh well, like I mentioned, the J4 build uh is going on. Um other than that, I don't see anything too out of place. You get a really good play on the hay. From Follow the like, Reclaimer taking the yeah, Hank is gonna die there. Fortunately, Fresh got the kill. Could have given it to the Shivana. Shivana will pick up Shadowy Figure and they will certainly push that turret. And they have a full wave and they may be able to just take it down. Well, especially with Minigun. Like, yeah, yeah. Minigun, super no joke for taking down turrets. It's faster and faster. So, uh, we, looks like we are gonna see first break go over to UTEP. Yeah, the game's playing gold there to stop that. 4k gold lead now for UTEP. UTSA's gotta be a little bit worried at this point. Game 5 series. <laughs> I'm ready. Are, are you? you? I, I guess I have to be. Yeah, I'm, re I'm ready for the reverse sweep. I definitely do not want to finish my homework. Homework. Yeah, that's No, man, I did all my chores today. I mowed my lawn. I, uh, I, I cleaned the carpet, like, for, for dinner. And we have dinner with friends tomorrow. I'm ready to go. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a cat the hook. And the never zone also misses. Zone, yes, of course. The zoning hook, perfect. <laughs> That's all it's for. You're not actually meant to catch anybody with it. Top or mid turret. Yeah, in trouble here. Yeah, but that old, we'll probably keep it safe. Oh, oh wow! Maximum Mech is going for a big. 1v5! Thanks, buddy. 
Taken down by Hank there. Oh. And the never move lands. Uh, Thor trying to get damage on the Hank. Uh, doesn't quite get lethal amounts there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you with that vein spotting coming. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta. Th okay, that's. Uh, so he ulted oh, no, to five people alone. Uh. I mean, I'd, I'd have to give him, like, 40, 40 points for that or something, like, his team was nowhere near him, and he just went in 1v5, that's, that's a pretty, pretty high score for Not that, Not to mention, it seems like he got sent an extra amount of distance, too. Oh, wow, that Thor just flashed instead of taking the lantern, that's a, that's a tilter. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> Monica Dauber could be... Could be saying the death curse <laughs> at Thor as we speak over in Cops. Yep, uh, I might have to interview them after the game. <laughs> so, yeah, so far, to ask. Yeah, uh, so far, it looks like Pichap has made some good adaptions. Uh, the lead is still stagnant at about 4k. Onto shadowy figure. Oh, oh. Depression back in, but the Zin will will keep help? him alive for for a second. And, Man, uh, that was that was really good. The combo flay with um, never move. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah never move. Yes. Hopefully on this next wave, they'll be able to crack it open, and it looks like Slantlord's trying to crack open top as well. Trying to push that wave in anyway. He does have Flash, he does have ult. If he came down to mid lane... Oh, wow, and bot lane, Magnus is pushing the wave in. Magnus is showing that tower who's boss, saying that hitting me doesn't, like, accomplish anything. This is actually an interesting win condition that uh, UTSA, or UTEP, rather, is setting up. They've kind of got a weird 1-3-1 thing going, but it seems to be working for them so far. It is a pretty weird wave push. We'll have to see how they uh, they respond to, like, a game happening to one of the one winners like this happening to us. Well, they're making a play mid in response, and it looks like Reclaimer will be able to take down both of them. Actually, Thor gets the kill credit. There you go. That's that's what happens. And as soon as their wave comes in, they'll get that tower. And Shivana survived that gank and is still pushing the bot lane. Hmm. So... Never mind. Uh, Question answered. That's how many, you know, flips it takes to there in a while to pop. So to speak, yeah. Uh, though Depression is trying to run Magnus down, this right, time right. maybe bought off more than making sure. Oh, well, Swain uh, with the Vision of Empire keeps his buddy safe. He didn't want to walk into that and get never moved and then never lived. Mm -hmm. Oh! Landlord does try to go in. Yeah, tries something. Uh, Cannon Minion just gave him 104 gold. Is it supposed to do that? He probably cracked his. Oh, he probably got two minions at the same time. Probably. That or if he if he blew up a cannon, yeah, or he blew up a barrel, yeah. But if he cracked his bounty at the same time from Klepto. The J4. Oh, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, more than one minion at the time. I thought you were talking about gameplay. No, 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 no. I was. I thought I was. Uh, stupid. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad. It's still yeah. possible. Jury's still out. I only yes. met you today, after all. Hmm. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh, you tell 
it looks to me like they have a lead, but they, they don't really know how much of a lead they have. Like, if it was UTSA that had this lead, like we saw in the last two games, they, they knew how to push it. They knew mm -hmm. how to go to end the game. Um, and it looks like UTEP just doesn't know what to do with the lead exactly. It's a pretty common problem with teams at this level, in my opinion. They just don't know what to do after the outer turrets are down. Sort of just faulty. Yeah, they just kind of sit around. And Rift Herald is one option to get out of that uh, malaise in the mid-game. Looks like they're gonna walk that up to top lane, try to catch that wave. Oh, yeah, we'll go down very easily. They not did sure catch how. depression. Yeah, not sure how I feel about the Xin Zhao pick. I don't know, I'd feel really good if I was on a... UTEP and I had just picked off Depression and Xin Zhao. Well, I meant the pick. I, I know what it. you meant by pick. I know what you meant by, I knew, yeah, okay. It was more fun the other way, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, they do end up trading towers. Okay. Um, the lead is about 6,000 gold. Looks like Slant Lord and Tarsier might be getting to the point in the matchup where Tarsier is headed to this over. Slant Lord is pretty good at hitting those barrels before the hardly reaches them, though. Mm -hmm. Another thing to watch, um, Tarsier sitting on a red pot. Might be a little bit of a boost in, in a sticky situation for him. Yeah, absolutely. So, the hidden barrel. Barrel. Let's see who can control, control this uh, Earth Drake. Shadowy Figure also setting up Baron Vision, or clearing it out for UTEP anyway. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, Dragon. That's no. The second problem. Elemental Drake for. UTEP here in this game three. So both teams even with their Earth Dragon now with the Ocean Drake. Um, probably at least a little useful for it swaying. I, I would say it's a very good drink to have while sieging if they have them. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of damage. Oh, Magnus forced to all. Shivana though, not a big deal. Not a huge clue. It'll be back. He'll get mad enough again for it later. Yeah, he can just uh, smack some jungle creeps around and get it back. Oh, the hook. Landing on the ground. Landing on the That demon flare will take him down. And looks like Thor is just going to kill him. Oh, the respectful flash. Wanted to hit by a potential shockwave. That ball is in a very bad position for UTEP. Okay, they do back away from it. Oh, but now it's and in an even worse no. position. Yeah, and UTSA will take this fight. This might be the team fight that they were looking for. Now. Swing this back around. They do have a minion wave. Looks like they're going to take at least one of these towers. But in the bottom lane, Maximum Magnus is pushing that turret. That was a fight that they did take, like, not in full power. Yeah. On the side of the... Uh, you tell them. Yeah, so. that's true, but UTSA is gonna pick up this Baron unless... ...that a Kadaver can here. steal it with the hook or something. Round two! <gasps> nope. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh no! He did not have to do that! Oh no. I... Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like UTEP, uh, they sat on their hands for too long, and eventually UTSA found a mistake and capitalized on it. Oh no. How are, how are you feeling now, Flag? I still have a pretty good lead. Uh, uh I feel like it's gonna evaporate in the next minute or two. 
I still have a pretty good lead. Look, they're fighting. Yeah. Fight yeah, that's true. They, they, this they is could a good win. Fight. This. fight for you, Tuff, right? No? Uh, right? No, it's not. Oh, no. it's not. Not at all. Oh, man. Oh, no. The shockwave comes through. Oh, oh triple no. Now. They don't actually have a wave just yet for mid lane, so they can't push immediately, but... Yeah, but they have this wave to long. kill. Yep. Oh, that, that wave is there. That wasn't any yep, time at all. What are you talking about? It was a few seconds of respite. But no, just, it wasn't. No, it, it wasn't. Was. It, it was. was. Just still, it was a calm before the storm. Yeah, but there was still a calm. that's what that is. Yeah, that's what that is. Touché. They're gonna continue on for the inhibitor tower, and this game swung completely around. Uh, this game just went topsy turvy. Yep. Well, maybe just topsy. It was uh, nature just returning to its natural state from game one and two. It looks like. Attempt's lead is completely evaporated. UTSN now in the driver's seat with one and a half thousand uh, extra gold. Good flash. Good flash force uh, from Avada, but that's probably about all they'll get there. Uh, looks like oh, they get avoid. I'm, I'm gonna let you carry. It's just gonna push that wave in top. Um, good Zinjao to deny some initial burst, but he does go down. Yeah. I'm still. Hit. I'm still not 100% sure on how Xin Zhao is really working. Okay, so when he ults, uh, the little circle around him, any damage incoming from outside that circle does not actually hurt Xin Zhao. Oh, so you have to be in the circle to hurt him while yes. he's ulting? Yes. Yeah, so he basically can ignore AD carries and stuff unless they're in melee range. <laughs> and you have, uh, Seer really in a bad spot. Yeah, but his team is on the way. Some of them are anyway. But they will not try to mount a rescue operation. Instead, yeah. they'll just try to kill Thor here. They'll successfully kill Thor, most likely. Maybe? No? I like. Yeah, the demonic ascension, the extra health, and uh, life steal there will keep him alive. Team, team showing up helps that a lot. Yeah, Vada Kadavra's gonna die here for sure, though. Yeah. <laughs> So, gold lead relatively even right now. GSA does have the Baron for a little bit more. It was looking so good. It was. It was. It was almost looking convincing, even. It was. But UTEP just threw it all away. I'm going down with my ship, though. I'm not gonna lie. They waited. They just waited too long. If they had tried to make a play earlier. They they were in the driver's seat, and they, they waited too long, they made a big mistake, and they didn't have any room to fix it. Yeah, and you've got some anti-healing. doesn't really work, honey. Still new. <laughs> I believe it still is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So they got anti-heal on their side of the board for Swain. Um, I guess. Yes. I guess Jinx kind of life steals. Yeah, she has the door in Oh. Oh, the shockwave pulls. Oh. Oh. back in. And hello, I'm Hank, looking for a lot of battle. Yeah, the ocean drake will go down. The two teams are now matched with elemental drakes. Hank oh, tries to get some proc off. Yep. Looks like he will just gun them down. Oh. It's the Q through. Hank. Actually dies. Falling to the tower, yeah. Yeah, a little over eager there. But if you look at the mid lane, uh, just, just pushing in. They're coming around, actually. Looking They're coming to help Shadowy out. But like Shadowy he doesn't need too much help. Maybe that airstrike will just pull it off for him. Uh, we see some. <laughs> we see some chat coming through. <laughs> Vada Kedavra with the, come on, man. But we'll be given no mercy in this No game. mercy. In what, in what is looking to be the final game of this series. 
Yeah, just the, the stranglehold wasn't enough. They got out of that headlock. And... <laughs> like, just you said, they, they had their hand on UTSA's throat, but they weren't squeezing. It was, it's the, uh, it's the case of the supervillain explaining his plan. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Monologuing for too long. Like, Huh, now that I've got you trapped, I suppose I should just tell you my nefarious plot. <laughs> to be fair, though, like, who else is going to listen? No, UTSA, I expect you to die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and Maximum Magnus walks right into the members of UTSA. Hello, I'm Hank, trying to... Gun down, slam. Oh, oh! Uh, but okay. uh, he had to do it to him. He just oh. had to go in one v five again. But it doesn't seem to be too bad. Swain no, is in full health. The so demonic okay. ascension and the demon player does tons of damage, but uh, just not enough. Not enough. It's like he's is about to ace them here. Yep. U T S Ace. Yep. 6k gold lead, 3 alive versus none. 20 second death timers, they might actually be trying to end it with this wave they're shepherding in. I don't think that that's quite enough time. No, not now. If they had their 80 carry, Tank was alive, they could probably pull it out. But they have to just take jungle camps, ward up and get ready for the final push, the final play. Might just do this Baron with three of them, because they can. Yep. Definitely possible. Well, the teleport's coming in from uh, Utah to stop, and they are aware. They just get out of dodge, or try to. Yep, Thor uh -huh. trying to pull something back. Looks like UTSA is trying to set up a bait here. Silent Lord's walking right into Shadowy Figure. And I think UTSA is going to try to turn this fight. Hank is there. Ooh, oh, Slantlord Slant Lord gets pulled around the map. But it will just not be enough. Maximum Magnus uh, cannot find watch. the kill. One to Oriana. Yep, he survived. Oh! Found by Swain. But I don't think it will matter. I don't think it's enough either. I think that's going to be game as yeah. UTEP gets wiped once again. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Buggy J for his build. Yeah, I know. I've I've been looking at it the entire game. Oh, you just never brought it up? Oh, I brought it up earlier. I said he was going to the I just kinda of wanted to shut the get, get through it as quick as possible. Yeah, I just didn't want to think about it. Um Well, okay, so yeah, UTSA will complete the clean sweep the first champion of the Central East Coast League. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is a heartbreaking game for UTL Paso. They they had it and they threw it away. Yeah, I was, uh, I had faith. Do you think we could uh, bring in some of the uh, UTSA guys for an interview? I I mean, we, we'd have to ask them um, and, and the powers that be, really. Uh, we we can we can get back with that information in a moment. Oh, oh, oh powers to be. Uh, Hank is saying yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're 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 getting we're getting the okays on that. We'll we'll definitely get some people in uh, here in a minute. Um. So just kind of stick by. Yeah, stand Ooh. by for the victorious. UTSA Roadrunners, I believe their AD carry, Hello, I'm Hank, will be joining us. To uh, to discuss Magi's and Caitlyn. <laughs> that was just game one, right? Or was it game two? I think that might have been the second game they played. Okay, okay. The I 90 know. caliber net needs, you know, better ratio. A lot more damage. Hello. I'm gonna be grabbing Hank in here in a hot minute. You guys ready? Uh, yep. I mean, yeah. Are we? Aren't we still live? Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. yes. So then, yeah, we're ready. All right. What? What kind of question is that? Hello, you're Hank. Hello. It's me. <laughs> How are Hank. you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling really good. You know, I got to play what I didn't want to play, and then I got to play what I did want to play. Which which one did you prefer more? With, uh, I preferred the Lucian pick because my favorite way to play the game is having no early uh, <laughs> and getting smacked around. Oh, yeah. The, uh... Hmm. All right. All right. All right. That's that's always an enjoyable way to play yeah, this, League of Legends. This series was a ton of fun. It, it looked like it. <laughs> so I have to ask about a couple of uh, item choices. Maybe just, <laughs> maybe just one. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know if you know what I'm. What I'm talking about here, Hank. Uh, but, I. Uh, I think I do, and let me explain it to you. Infinity Edge increases the potency <laughs> of your crits. Okay. Okay. So you, All right. you play a crit AD carry, you generally want to. Um, you generally want to build either an Infinity Edge or a Essence Reaver. Caitlyn Infinity Edge is the clear choice. Okay. All right. So, um, Twitch chat, if you're still with us, remember. Uh, Infinity Edge, the way to go on Kaelin. The um, yeah, the, the Medjai Soul Stealer is just part of the core build, like nothing to worry about. Like, that's the Medjai's the Medjai's was pure. I wanted to see how many stacks I could get before the game was over because I knew that um, the game was over. No BM. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, none, none none stated at all in that in that sense. So, uh, I have a question. How were you guys feeling uh, for like the first half of that third game? Did you feel like you were kind of going to lose, or did you know that they were going to make a mistake and you were just going to get right back into it? Um, I feel like we were definitely the... We, we knew that we were definitely the better team, so um, we weren't too worried. Of course, it's in the back of your mind when you play a comp like Lucian Zen Zhao. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you you kind of come into it expecting to not not expecting to lose but expecting it to be a little tougher mm -hmm. uh, but you know we never really got tilted or anything um when our mid laner got the insane shockwave in the mid lane mm -hmm. um, we kind of knew that we were bringing it back and that they were throwing and when we saw jarvin's build too <laughs> that just, kind of <laughs> out a little bit he just jumped in and immediately died we, we, we kind of figured that we were we had it in the bag. I, too, was a big critic of the Jarvan build. Yeah, it was an interesting one for sure. Um, another question. I think it was you that initially posed in chat the uh, the word puzzle. What, what was the answer to that? Uh, the answer was A, um, ban Aurelia. And oh. Yeah. That, Aurelia's a that, broken champion. That had champion. us stumped. That we were stumped. I thought it was Y. Aurelia should not be let through. Solo queue, um, competitive any any time. Aurelia is a busted champion. Um, she was she was pretty busted. And any time that she gets a lead, it's just it's it's like, well, here we go. It, oh boy, yeah. she's she's a tough one to deal with for sure. But you know, uh, my boy Tarsier is just an incredible top laner. So. So so what are what are the plans now? Like, is it Disney? Is it Universal? Um, like, well, with the with the prize money, we're going to um, be taking a trip to uh, to Germany. Actually, um, we're gonna boot camp in the EU West. Okay. And, <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Well done. Yeah, and so we're gonna grow as a team. We're gonna learn how to be extra toxic from <laughs> the origin. <laughs> um, just, just, just work on it from there. Yeah, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn how to flame. Um, we're gonna learn how, you know, the EU West way. We feel like that's the easiest way to be successful is to be extra toxic. All right, all right. So, uh, I don't know. You uh, you have anything to add to your to your fans on on stream or anything right now? To my fans, um, you know, I just want to say, uh, if you play ADC, just always pick Caitlyn. Um, don't build static shiv anymore, no matter what the haters tell you. Really? Um, well, I guess I guess that's another good question. Why? So, whenever whenever you did buy the uh, the rapid fire, was it was it just because shiv is shiv is gone and dead to you? Uh, well, shiv is definitely. I feel like nine times out of ten, no longer the first buy. Um, on on a, this is on a serious note, by the way. Uh, 
I shiv the nurse to static shiv. I think kind of put it to the back seat because you know normally you would buy the static shift first for the wave clear and the pushing so right. you can take power but it's just weak enough to the point where it's a second buy and i've been kind of experimenting with runans um and that felt like a good game to do it because we were ahead and there was really no risk and there weren't uh, really any tanks to no uh, and you know runans is wave clear it's kind of lose out on some of the burst of a uh, um of, the, of your headshot you know because when you line up that headshot with the static shiv, you can one-shot people. But I, I like runins. I don't think static shiv is a rush anymore. I think it's thir uh, third item. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. Hank, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming on to stream with us. Um, I, I don't. I don't really have anything else. Pre I didn't have anything prepared for you at all. Um, but I don't. I don't have anything <laughs> yeah, else prepared I'm, to, I'm to ask you, anyways. Big game. Uh, I was I was trying to take notes. I was I was trying to, to find something, but you know, this is the first uh, CEC conference game that I've casted. Um, um, to sorry. be fair, no, it's it's it's, oh, it's so, fine. so. Well, I just also before I go, I do want to say that the my hovers uh, meant absolutely nothing, besides that those are my favorite champs. Um, my top laner does not play Kale or Riven. My mid laner we, we does were not actually play Kale or Riven. ADC in the third we game. just wanted to see you on Kale. I, I, Kale is my most played champion this split, or this split, this season. <laughs> um, I, yeah, Kale's my most played. Um, Ash is my favorite AD carry, and I used to... So, those, those are the hovers. Okay. Uh, when, when will we see you on an academy team? Um, I'm being scouted right now. Um, I actually got an email saying that they were looking for... Uh, D five zero LP marksman, <laughs> and I really I do fit the, I do fit that bill, and I think this tournament's gonna really um, really reinforce that I'm good enough to abuse gold players. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, well thanks I for that, Hank. That's all we need from um, Hello, I'm Hank. Hank. <laughs> all right, that was a pleasure talking to you. I'm gonna go celebrate with my team. Yeah, Great. go go, go hey, celebrate Kevin. with your buddies. All right, goodbye, y'all. Congratulations. Wonderful thank you, thank you, job, thank you. dude. Good, Good games. All right. Well, there we there we have it, uh, Gerard. Yeah, um, I think I think that'll do it for us. Uh, UTSA 3-0. Not a whole lot else to say. <laughs>